Hello everyone, my name is Omar Krad and I'm an ophthalmologist in Southern California. Today I'm going to talk about the manual capsulorexis and share a few things that have helped me along the way. There are many different ways to perform the capsulorexis. Some surgeons use a bent needle or cystitome, some use forceps, and some prefer laser or septo. Today I will focus on the manual capsulorexis and the following are 30 rexes to hopefully help you level up your capsulorexis. My first tip is to try different techniques because what works for me might not work for you. Here I am trying a corneal marker, it's 5.5 millimeters in diameter and it works well as a guide if you want to be more consistent with your rexis and uh, you just trace the outline of the marker, although it's in a different plane than your rexus. It's more anterior because you're marking the cornea. And it does require you to have an extra instrument. Nonetheless, it's a very reasonable option. I also tried marking the capsule directly, making little indentations to create a mark in the anterior cortex of the lens these marks can help serve as a guide. They can act like parking cones that you want to drive around and it's in the same plane as the capsule. This technique works well as long as you have a really good red reflex. I really love the new Zeiss scopes. If it's just nuclear cataract you have a super bright red reflex. But it's hard to visualize these points if there are cortical changes or a more mature cataract. The number one way I think you'll improve your rexus is by recording your surgeries and watching them. Watching clips back to back will allow you to catch any subtle bad habits. When you watch your performance, you can improve on it. When I first started watching mine, I was surprised by how inconsistent I was. And I didn't even realize it until I watched multiple clips back to back. That gave me extra motivation to try and improve. Have you ever given a speech and then heard yourself? First thought is, do I really sound like that? When I perform erexis, I don't routinely use a corneal marker or mark the lens. I'll let you know what works best for me. And keep in mind, once you do this enough times, you don't have to think about it. It comes naturally. I focus on only four points of the circle. These points are a priority for me. I feel like if I can master these four points, the rest of the rexus will be great. The left point, the bottom, the right point, and the top. Or in this uh, video, I'll put it as like west, south, east, or north. When I reach any of these points, I tell myself I need to bounce off in the other direction. These are the points where I need to change heading. Prioritizing these four points keep things simple and it's easy enough to get it right. If I focused on getting every degree of the circle perfect, I know I'll make a mistake. So instead, I focus on entering and exiting each one of these four points in the proper way. Gracefully land and take off from each point. So when you hit the point one, don't go any more west than there. Now approach point two, and don't go any more south than there, head back up. Then when you get to point three, don't go any more east, start heading up toward the north, and there it is. And the reason I think this works for me is because it breaks down the rexus into four different parts. And anytime you take something complex and break it up into simple steps, it makes it easier. It's like when uh, Ike Ahmed says that complexity is simplicity multiplied or something like that. I probably butchered it, but you know what I mean. So I don't focus on 12 points or 8 points, just 4. Over here, this patient is blinking a lot. Uh, causing his eye to shake, but I just focus on getting to the next of the four points.
when I adopted this strategy, my rexus has become so much more consistent. So try it out and please let me know how it goes. The rest of this video is just me demonstrating the technique over and over. I hope there is someone out there that found this video helpful and I apologize to those who thought this was way too simple but uh, I'm still learning as I do more cases and I wanted to share this with you. Take care everyone.